What's the latest on the extent of the flooding and the river level there? Um, so the, the, the river at Windsor is currently almost at 11 metres um, and at North Richmond, I think it's close to 12 and a half metres now. Um, and we're seeing predictions coming out of the Bureau of Meteorology that we could get up to 14 metres of Windsor, which would make this flood uh, even more devastating than the one we had this time last year. So are people already cut off? Um, a lot of people have already been evacuated um, due to either inundation or isolation. Um, we've got, you know, our community here in the Hawkesbury is divided by the Hawkesbury River. Um, and so there's, the, there's two bridges across the river that join our community, Windsor Bridge and North Richmond Bridge, and both have been closed. Uh, Windsor Bridge closed overnight and North Richmond Bridge closed yesterday. So the two sides of the river are now se separated from each other. Mm. Um, but, you know, if we do see a peak of 14 metres, that will likely mean lots of local road closures that could create some flood islands around the place. So uh, how many people in that region have been told to evacuate already and have they got out? I'm not sure of the exact number that have been told to evacuate already. Uh, we're sort of bracing for if we get to that 14 metres um, that we may have to evacuate tens of thousands of people from the valley. Um, so far, I haven't heard any reports of non-compliance with that. Um, I believe there's a few that wouldn't have had time to get out because the, the river did rise more rapidly than we expected last night. So there may be some people that are isolated at the moment. And as long as they're on higher ground and safe, then we'll just, I think that the idea is just to stay in touch with them and make sure they've got what they need. Um, but yeah, it could be, you know, depending on what happens today, it could be a, a fairly major operation of getting people out of here. Yeah. So you're there at Bly Park. Might you have to evacuate? I understand there are some complications if you do have to get out. Yeah, I'm sort of maybe a bit reluctant to, um, to, to comment too much on that because I don't want to cause any panic. It's not impossible. Um, so I would say to everyone in Bly Park to, to keep watching. It's not likely at this point. Um, you know, 14 metres, uh, we're all well above that here. Um, but our, even our access does get cut off um, well before our properties become inundated. So mm. these are the sorts of issues we deal with in the valley that it's, it's not always just about inundation. It's about, you know, mm. if suburbs are going to get isolated and lose services, we might want to make the call to get those people out before that happens. Sure. I understand also, and I've been told it's OK to talk about this, that you have COVID, uh, Patrick, and, and that brings mm. its own complications, doesn't it? If you have to get out there and, and go to an evacuation centre with lots of other people close by. Oh, look, it's incredibly frustrating at the moment, the timing of uh, being stuck in isolation when there's so much that I could be doing out there to help, but um, just trying to run all the meetings virtually and, and keep in touch with everyone that way. But that's why I'm on Zoom from home for all of these. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that's all right. There would be people who are isolating and does add, um, like me, and it would add an extra layer of complication, but you know, it is a flood and it is a life and death situation. So if people need to evacuate, they just need to evacuate. Yeah. So it's a year ago that uh, you were in this in the same position. It looks like, as you said, that the, this year's flood could be worse than last year's. But are you able to take lessons from what happened 12 months ago and, and put that into operation? Yeah, look, I think uh, I think we're better prepared this time. Um, you know, the Hawkesbury is, a, is on a floodplain. We've got to remember that. And in our history, we've had long periods of regular flooding. Um, and we, we did have a long dry period up until um, a couple of years ago without any floods. And I think um, you know, although that's a very good thing, obviously, it did mean that we lost a lot of knowledge um, and that people who are younger like myself hadn't lived through it. Um, so certainly this time, everyone's a lot more aware of the risk. Um, everyone's a lot more aware of what, what it might mean and what could happen and, and what, what order things generally happen in. So from that point of view, I think that was a bit more resilience in the community. Mm. But there are many people who would have only just recovered from the floods of, of 2021. You can only imagine how they're feeling. Oh, exactly. You know, it's just some people have just taken an absolute battering in this community. We had uh, devastating bushfires, um, followed by a, a massive flood last year. Um, you know, the, the pandemic we've all been through and now another devastating flood. Um, some people, like you said, wouldn't have rebuilt from the fires yet. Um, and it's just, yeah, there's a lot of people we're con you know, I'm concerned about because how can anyone take that much, yeah. um, really? Um, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll all get through it. Uh, so how much longer are you expecting this flood emergency to last? And then once the waters do start to recede, what happens then in terms of checking that everybody's OK and, and checking that, that the roads are OK to drive on again? And of course, the importance of that bridge there. Look, we don't really know how long we expect it to last. Um, you know, we, we'd like to think that it will peak today, you know, it's certainly the hope. Um, but there is this East Coast low and it just depends how much rain we get and how long it keeps going for. Um, so the Bureau is predicting that there'll be a, a peak um, of up to 14 metres today. 
you know, they haven't ruled out further rises beyond that, depending on what happens. They're not predicting any at the moment, but um, so it's not really clear as to exactly when we'll see um, the river fall. And it does depend, even if the even if we reach our peak today, it might not fall for some time if the rain is continuing. So it will just be a, a one day at a time sort of thing. And and then, yeah, once we once we get access again, the massive cleanup work starts again. Mm. We wish you all the best. Patrick Connolly, thank you. Thank you.